Uh, in this video, I will continue about chapter 3 from the previous video, Oscillator. So, in this video, we mostly will um, learn about uh, LSI and also maybe some and other type of oscillator that you may use in designing your um, uh, transmitter. Okay, so uh, another one more type of oscillator is called feedback oscillator. Uh, it is a an amplifier with feedback loop uh, that has a path for energy to propagate from input to the output. So it has a subtractor, a voltage amplifier, and also feedback network. So this type of feedback oscillator is actually uh to 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 produce a high frequency stability so what is uh frequency stability uh, is actually the ability of an oscillator to remain at a fixed frequency we don't want to produce a, a frequency from an oscillator that has um a frequency that always changing we want to be, we want the oscillator to produce uh, a frequency at a fixed rate so a high frequency stability oscillator is needed whenever we want to uh, use especially in modulating uh, two signals the, the information signal and also the carrier signal but in the oscillators in order for us to get high frequency stability the feedback oscillator is the one that can give us that uh, frequency a fixed frequency uh, and uh, an example of a feedback oscillator is another what we call crystal oscillator which it uses lc tank that is replaced with a crystal all right a crystal for a frequency determining elements. So I, I explained in the last video what is the frequency determining components. Uh, that means the components like a coil or capacitor or a resistor, that is the component or elements that is used to determine the frequency of the circuit. All right. And uh, for crystal oscillator, it uses uh, uh, an effect, what we call piezoelectric effect, uh, in order to get that the, uh, the frequency stability. So what is the piezoelectric effect? Uh, piezoelectric effect is actually um, a phenomena that occurs when oscillating mechanical stress uh, apply across a crystal lattice structure that, that generate electrical oscillations and also vice versa. So this piezoelectric effect is actually well-known phenomena in physics. Uh, so, based on this effect, it's actually known that it can uh, give uh, or produce oscillation process. And in electrical, we use this to come up with the, uh, as you know here, uh, the high frequency uh, signal. All right. So, for in order for the crystal, crystal oscillator to give us um, high frequency at a stable or fixed uh, rate or fixed frequency, uh, there are some uh, reasons or some, um, uh, I'll call it, uh, reasons, I would say reasons, uh, how we can get the high frequency and stable frequency. Uh, first is the crystal cut. Depends on the crystal cut, it will affect the resonant frequency of the crystal. If you have more cuts on the crystal, it will give more resonance frequency to the crystal and give us higher frequency. Uh, another one is the temperature of the uh, crystal itself. So natural, natural resonant uh, frequency of a crystal is influenced by its operating temperature. So uh, if we have higher temperature for the crystal, that means the crystal will oscillate or uh, resonance uh, frequently or high in high um, uh, speed uh, rather than having a, a lower temperature all right and another one okay this is the crystal equivalent circuit which means this circuit is actually equivalent what the crystal oscillator has by by using why not using any crystal so we use a, a coil a, a resistor and two capacitor with uh, the series the series connection 
for the coil resistor and also one of the capacitor that parallel to another capacitor C2. So we can have the equivalent or uh, almost similar effect of a crystal oscillator uh, when using this uh, crystal equivalent circuit. Right. So there are three, three types uh, of crystal oscillator circuit. One we call as discrete pierce. Uh, and the discrete pierce crystal oscillator is given by this uh, circuit configuration, all right, uh, where it's actually used XTAR here. So XTAR is actually crystal. Um, uh, crystal means, okay, the, the symbol for crystal, uh, IC pierce and RLC half bridge, right? So uh, for next is about an example. Okay, sorry, I will just... Uh, get the, the picture out. So for this example, I already put in Kalam. You can use, uh, you can access to Kalam and try to do the example inside it and get, and, and try to get correct questions. Uh, sorry, correct answer of the questions. All right. All right. Next is the large scale integration oscillator. So other than feedback or crystal oscillator, uh, tune uh, and also untuned oscillator, you also can use what we call as large scale integration or LSI in order to get an oscillator inside our uh, transmitter. Okay, so what are the advantages of this type of oscillator? So first is it has excellent frequency stability. We want this in our oscillator, especially when we want to apply it in our communication system. Second is wide timing range, uh, easy to use and economic. We want it to be easy to use and also cheap so that we can afford to produce it in bulk. Uh, and the availability of large number of active components within a single chip. Even though we have only one single chip, we can connect it and use it in, in a lot of applications. So uh, an example of, uh, sorry, the application that, that uses LSI as, as oscillator is the function generators, timers, programmer, programmable timers, uh, voltage control oscillators, precision uh, oscillators, and also waveform generators, or what we call as oscillator, uh, oscilloscope. Yes. All right. This is the block diagram of um, integrated circuit uh, that is used in waveform generator. So a waveform generator is the uh, is an oscillator circuit that generates well-defined and also stable waveform that can be externally modulated or swept over a given frequency range. So it has four components, uh, oscillator, wave shaper, AM modulator, which is optional, and also buffer amplifier. So in the oscillator, it will generate the basic frequency of oscillation. Uh, and in wave shaper, it will convert the oscillator output uh, to sine, square, triangle, or ramp shape waveform, all right? And then uh, in the AM modulator, it will allow to produce AM signal. Uh, if we don't use it for AM signal, then we don't have to put the AM modulator into the waveform generator. And lastly, buffer amplifier will oscillate uh, the oscillator uh, from load and uh, put a place to add DC level to output waveform. All right, so this is the, the block diagram for IC in, to be used in waveform generator. Uh, this is uh, the, the, the simplified circuit, all right, where uh, the, the waveform generator managed to uh, produce output, either it's a um, rectangular or pulse uh, triangle. Sorry, this is the triangle. This is the zigzag. This is the zigzag uh, signal uh, or ram. Uh, ram wave, uh, sorry, ramp ship wave. Right, uh, this is one of the example uh, of IC or LSI oscillator, right, uh, monolithic function generator uh, with model number XR2206. It has uh, 16 pins and inside the IC, we have VCO, uh, current switches and also the uh, shaper, the wave shaper. So this type of IC basically capable of producing high quality sine square, triangle, ram and pulse waveform, uh, high stability and also high accuracy. And it can be selected externally between 0.01 Hz up to 1 megahertz. 
right and is widely used in uh, waveform generator am or fm generation uh, system or signal uh, fsk frequency shift keying generation signal uh, this is for digital signal and also phase lock loop for the phase lock loop i will explain to you uh, i think next video yeah next okay this is the circuit con connection for the xr2206 uh, so you need to know and refer to data sheet of this xr2206 in order for you to understand uh, the connection inside the ic so this is the pin uh, for this one is the pin number which pin actually you need to refer all right and i would prefer you to to refer to the data sheet of xr2206 before you use the ic to uh, uh, avoid uh, the ic to be broken right next is monolithic voltage uh, control oscillator or vco uh, with model number xr2207 it has 14 pins and inside the ic we have the current switches two uh, amplifier and also a vco so excuse me so this ic uh, has excellent frequency stability has wide tuning range and the frequency range for this ic is can be used be between 0 0.01 hertz up to 1 megahertz and is widely used in sweep or tone generator uh, in generating fm or fsk signal as well as for uh, it uh, as a phase lock loop um, Right, next is the monolithic precision oscillator or with the model number XR2206. It's a small chip with 8 pins uh, and it's actually a variable frequency oscillator with excellent temperature stability, has wide linear sweep range, provide triangle and square wave outputs. So we don't use this for sine wave outputs. Uh, and the frequency range set by the external RC product that is connected outside the IC. So uh, the application that uses this um, uh, IC is likely at the voltage and current to frequency conversion, uh, the phase lock loop, uh, waveform generation triangle, salt to uh, pulse and square wave, uh, waveform generator. Uh, FM and sweep generation. Okay, so this is the uh, circuit connection for the VCO uh, XR2209 uh, and you need to refer to data sheet of this IC before you can use it to connect inside your uh, design system. All right, so make sure that you know which pin uh, need to uh, connect with which component in order to, uh, I mean, in order to avoid uh, the IC to be broken or um, uh, out of, I mean, uh, cannot be used. All right. So that's it for this video. Um, I will see you again in the next video to finish up this chapter. All right. Thank you.